Well, it's a rainy old day here in Chaco. I thought I'd do something a little different today. Maybe not a story, but maybe talk to you about some things that I've been asked about over the years and maybe answer some questions that you may have thought about doing as far as writing or storytelling is concerned. I did an interview with the Madison County Library last week, joined by Martin Higwood. Now, Martin's an old friend of mine and an accomplished author. He's written four mystery novels. First three published by St. Martin's Press out of New York. So he's a real author as opposed to what I've done, and that is just write down the old stories that I thought about telling. So I thought I'd give you the, uh, the way to get into that interview that you might find interesting in case you ever thought about writing or maybe even a little storytelling. I thought you might enjoy it. I don't know how all this rain and so on is gonna turn out with the uh, sound system and all. You'll just have to kind of rough it along with me. No script, just chatting with you. The way you get into it is go to Facebook and go to the Madison County Library System. And when you go to the Madison County Library System on the, on the search bar, you hear that frog? When it starts out here at Shaco, their bullfrog will tune in here in a few minutes. Maybe the pond's right over there. Boy, he's making a lot of racket. I'll try to talk over him. He, he has no respect at all. <laughs> anyway, when you get into the Madison County Library System, you'll see a place on there where you can click on videos. Click on videos, and then you will see Martin Higwood and Jim Ritchie authors. Click on that and you should be able to find the sound button. If you can't, ask your grandchild. I'm sure they can help you. Mine have to do that for me. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do this week. Hopefully you'll learn something that'll be a worthwhile to you. And then one other kind of housekeeping thing. Some time ago, my website on the um, Southern Stories where you'll see a lot of Southern authors with works that you probably hadn't heard of before, but good ones nevertheless, was southernstories.com. Well, due to a mix-up with a credit card number, it was delayed for two days, in which time another company came in and picked up the southernstories.com website and then offered to sell it to me for $11,000, and I said no. So the new website is southern-stories.com. Don't forget the little dash between southern and stories, like it is on the uh, link below. So that's what I've got to do today. We'll see how this turns out. I'll be back next week with another story. I hope you'll tune in. But until that time, I'm Jim Ritchie, and Lord willing, I will see you again next week. Thank you.